Hello everyone and welcome to another of Mrs. Kylie's art tutorial videos. Let's take a look at line in this video and all the fun ways that we can use line in our artwork, whether it be through patterning, through texture, through movement, as you see in this one, um, or just expressing yourself and who you are as a person and where your head's at at this point. Personally, I love working in illustration pen. I like how it has to keep you honest as an artist and how you have to accept whatever little mistakes you might make and figure out and problem solve to how to make those mistakes work in your favor to make it a successful art piece. So what you're looking at right now is my preliminary work, my preliminary preparation in my creative process where I'm working right in my sketchbook. I've written out my goals with this piece to express line, movement, pattern. I'm also planning on um, just putting in a few images of what I'm thinking about currently. And essentially what I'm trying to do is collaborate the three main inking projects that my students do. Uh, the grade nine line and quilt, the grade 10 line and movement, and the grade 11 where's your head at project. My idea is to start from the left with the grade nine line and quilt where they're just working with patterning and Zen doodles, very simplistic, and then slowly moving and transitioning into the grade 10 where you can see that there's movement being created and then throwing in a couple fun images that I often incorporate in my artwork. Um, this is the best way to start any art project where you're in your safe sketchbook area where it's okay to make mistakes, to erase, to start over again, um, and it won't mess up your good copy artwork, which I've started here. And I know that earlier I said that Illustration Pen is awesome because you have to work through your problems right there on the page, but it never hurts to have uh, a plan in place when you start attacking something. So even though I did do my preliminary work and brainstorming in my sketchbook um, and had things pretty, pretty much set out, you'll see and notice that on my good copy paper, I had more boxes and my plans kind of change as I go. And that's okay too. That's great. You know, whatever works. So as I start this first box, I'm going to fill it up with some simple Zen doodles and a tip for my younger artists, you know, start with something simple. These are just upside down U's. And then what can you do to make them a little bit more interesting? Like put some solid colors in there or experiment with hatching, cross hatching and stippling. You can never go wrong with adding those little details. And like I've said in my other videos, remember art takes time and patience. So that definitely applies with illustration pen. Um, really, you know, carefully putting down your hatching lines, your cross hatching lines and stippling does take piles of patience. But when you're finished and you look at the end product, it really pays off. All that, that patience pays off. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of music to listen to as you watch me zen tangle and doodle and draw uh, whatever <laughs> happens and I'll be back with you towards the end. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.
So line is one of those elements of design that is pretty simple. You just put your pen down and see where it takes you. But when you start getting the hang of pairing it up with the right principal design, you get some really great artwork. Like when you use contrast um, to really punch the black and the white through, uh, you get strong pieces. Uh, you emphasize things, you can create movement and repetition is very pleasing to the eye. And when you master those hatchings and cross hatchings and stippling and have gradation, you get some pretty nice pieces of art. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your questions, comments or compliments in the box below. Please click on like and share if you found this video at all helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos where this came from. And thanks for watching.